big episode of the vlog this week. It's the first show that I've done since before COVID. The last show was January 23rd, 2020. Before that, I hadn't done a show for three years. So I'm excited to do the show. I'm ready to perform. What I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna rehearse a lot this week and Wednesday I'm gonna go over to my manager Robin's house and rehearse again and just kind of get the set list tight and I'll show you some footage from there and just take you through the whole experience and it's, it's gonna be, I'm nervous dude, I'm honestly, I don't know why I'm nervous, like I'm not even nervous of like, oh I'm so scared I'm not gonna do well, like it's not like that, it's more of like a, I kinda wanna get it over with cause I know I'm gonna kill it, like I know I'm gonna do well, I know I'm gonna completely kill it on stage, so I just wanna do it and get it over with and have that feeling of like, all right I accomplished it, I did the show, and then you know, maybe get to the next show. The other thing too is I have so much on my mind right now, like yeah I just started a new business, um, I just started doing social media work, so I have an uh, agency called Prophecy Media, and you know I'm doing Facebook advertising for for businesses, and so I just started that, and I have that on my brain as like I really want to build that up, and I have a goal for this month of September to get just one client. I just want to get one high ticket client, and that that's really where I'm at. Like just get one client, and I'm focused on that as well. So take you through this week, take you to rehearsal with Robin, take you through the actual show itself, and. You know, I'm really excited, so let's get it. Ah! Hi, homie. What's up, homie? This is for the vlog. Ah! Second appearance. Hi, friend. Hey, friend. This is Robin. You know, I'm out here with the sunglasses, trying to be cool, but I'm not. Well, and, I can't uh, see without these, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we out here, just got to Union City, and we're about to rehearse for the show. Um, this time we are going to actually do the show. The show's happening. Yeah, the show's for show happening. For show happening. Yes, sir. Anyway, we're about to rehearse. I'm going to give you some footage of the rehearsal and then, yeah, we're about to get after it. Let's go. Hey, hey, on! Uh, doing the most. Let's make a toast. Shoot for the stars. Time to gross. Came for the cracks. Call me D Rose. Getting it done, you already know. Visions of a legend you can never tie me down. Remember when they hated on me, but they like me now. Put it on my shoulders. Proved on my consistence, look at them go. Never change up on a road, never switch up on my bros. Take them all with me, we been through the lows. Ups and the downs, but we always go grow. This is the flow that made them believe in the first. Haters from high school, we doing our hearse. Hating their lives, I don't need feeling curse. We'll get back when I'm writing this verse. All right, so just finished up rehearsing at Robin's. Heading back home now. A little bit of a drive, which um, honestly I like. I like Sometimes I like a good long drive, think about stuff listen to a podcast or watch a YouTube video or something like that. Not watch a YouTube video. I'm not watching while I'm driving, listening. But you know, it's funny. I wanted to just talk about the way I'm feeling about this show. So like this show, if you, I don't know if you've, if you watched uh, Lizzie's Life a couple weeks ago uh, talking about it, but the show was originally supposed to be August 8th and I was all good to go, like sold the minimum amount of tickets I was supposed to sell was rehearsing a lot, like was super ready for the show, and the show uh, was supposed to be on a Sunday. The Tuesday before the show, they emailed me like, yo, everybody who walks in has to show proof of, you know what? I don't wanna say it, because then it, the algorithm picks up the words that I use, and then it messes up everything, so proof of being, you know, vaxxed. And I wasn't, I was not vaxxed, nor was I planning on getting vaxxed at all. Had no, no, was not gonna do it. But I was like, damn, I can't perform. So I hit up the venue and I was like, well, could you, because they, what they were going to say was, I, I said, look, I'm not, I don't have that. Can I still perform? They're like, no, like nobody enters without it. I'm like, all right. And they were like, we're going to have to refund all your, everyone who bought tickets from you, we have to refund them. And I was like, well, why don't we do this? I know you guys have a show coming up September 19th. Can we just take everyone who bought tickets and, and make it so that they have tickets for that show and then I'll just perform then and it'll give me time to you know go do what I got to do and they were like they were like totally cool with that they're like yeah sure so this was the show that was supposed to be August 8th at first it's funny because like the way I am about concerts right now at my point in my career is like I kind of like I like doing them like while I'm on the stage it's hella fun like being on stage like talking to people connecting with people performing my songs all that is fun but the stuff I hate like selling tickets, I hate selling tickets. I hate having to, like my system for selling tickets is not good. I basically have to just hit up all of the people I know, text them and like ask them, hey, do you wanna come to the show? And like, that's fine and all, but I hate having to do that. Like I hate having to like hit people up and bar not barter with them, what's it called, like bother them. Uh, and that's usually not my mindset with stuff like that, but it is for selling tickets. And then 
and, and just being pressured to sell a minimum amount and not knowing if I'm gonna sell the amount of tickets or not. So that that sucks. And then rehearsing is I like rehearsing. I mean rehearsing is fine, it's just something I gotta do. I just do it in my house, in my room, or in the garage or something. Sometimes when it comes down to the shows, I'm like, let's just get this over with. I have that attitude of let's just get this over with. Like I, I don't wanna even do like I get to the point where I'm like, I don't even wanna do it. I'm totally done. I'm done with this mentally. I'm just like I'm done. Like I want to. I don't want to. I want to be done with this and not have to do it again. But, and that's how I was feeling about this show, especially after after everything that happened, where I have to go do something that I really don't want to do, that I wasn't gonna do. I did it, you know, and and all that. But, but I was like, just kind of in the mindset of like, I'm totally over this. Like I want this show to be over so that I can think about other things that I'm doing. Like I don't want to do this. But I have been rehearsing a lot for the show. And I feel really, really, really good about it. Like, I feel great about my songs, the set list. And I already sold all my minimum tickets. Like, I'm good to go to perform. And I'm like, you know what? Enjoy it. Like, I'm kind of right now in the place where I'm like, dude, just enjoy the show. Just go up on stage. Have fun. Enjoy time with your fans. Enjoy time with your family while you're up there. Give them the best show they've ever seen. Like, all I'm caring about is like, yeah. And obviously, I'm going to. Like, I'm going to give them the best show they've ever seen. I'm going to give them the best experience that they've ever been to concert wise. And, uh, I'm really, I'm excited for that. You know, that that's more of where my head is at. I'm excited for the rest of the day. The rest of the day is going to be really dope. Y'all ready? I have a show tonight. <laughs> Dude, I'm honestly nervous. I don't know why. I haven't done a show since January. I haven't done a show since January, 2020. And before that I hadn't done a show for three years. And when I did that show, January, 2020, my goal was, man, I'm going to do a show every month. I was like in hustle mode and, and I remember saying to you, Gabe and Jay, like, guys, we all have to do shows this year. <laughs> Bam, and then whoop, this happened. So it's just kind of weird, like I'm excited to do this show, but I'm hella nervous, but I think I'm gonna do good. I know I'm gonna do great. We got Pappy, show Pappy on the camera, man. We got Gabe's dad, Pappy. Hey, <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to the rap show. <laughs> anyway, yeah, man. We Future rappers. Yes, sir. First time rocking Peaceful Leaders merch at a show. Haven't gotten to do that yet. We got it, yep, here on the sweats too. Yep, haven't gotten to do that yet. So that'll be cool. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be lit. Reflecting <laughs> back, thinking about it all. When I was young, I just wanted to ball. Before you are, gotta learn to crawl. You only fail if you choose to fall. Now my mentors become my friends. Friends turn enemies, now we see the end. Wanna shine through, I don't wanna just blend. <laughs> Move. 
Let's see who proved me now successful. So they sue me now. Move too fast, they lose me now. Got skills, they wanna use me now. Stay up, won't abuse me now. Worked alone for a minute. Now it's time to get back in it. Shows, merch, collabs. I will see you living. The goal of you guys watching me tonight is for you to feel like you want to do something different than you were doing today or yesterday. My music is a reflection of me, but I want I want to inspire you. Climb my way out, gotta find my way out. I've been riding for so long, but ain't no time for breaks now. Feel like I'm a breakdown, but I gotta stay strong. Got too many all behind me, press and play on every song. Find my, find my, find my way, find my, find my, find my way, find my, find my, find my way. Gotta find my way, gotta find my way. Be who I'ma be, ain't no different, never change the mission Only things that change is I got more people to listen Send people to the distance, decrease the assistance Put it on my shoulders, improved on my consistency Look at them go, never change up on the road Never switch up on my bros, take them all with me, we've been through the lows Ups and the downs, but we always gon' glow This is the flow that made them believe in the first Haters from high school, we throw in our hurts Hating their lives, that already feeling cursed Looking back, when I'm writing this verse, when they was getting cocky I was figuring it out, beat after beat, I was picking them out, now what they say, listen to them now, listen to them now, things change around me, still about it, it's tempting, the judgment ain't clouded, going crazy even when they doubt it, cloud minded but stay grounded, hateful words go unaccounted, better day one how I sounded, now we running up the digits, what you counting, find my way out, gotta find my way out, Feel like I'm a breakdown, but I gotta stay strong. Got too many all behind me, pressing play on every song. Gotta find my, find my, find my way. Getting myself out the one who gon' play. Like ten toes down, always how I stay. Never seen a life I trade. Nope. Never focused on my grades. Never that. Let's just call a spade a spade. Never did it how they said I should. Who's the one who's choosing how they get it paid? Yeah.
since day one, hope you're never misled. Patience for the fake, that part of me dead.
Guys, this is this is my girlfriend Erica. Everybody say hi Erica. Hi. So you're you're just gonna stand right there. Perfect. You're just gonna stand there, look look beautiful, and I'm gonna do the rest, okay? attaining what we really want to attain, but they're not going to understand it. But like with it, there's nothing else we have to do in this world to make sure that shit is right. You know how to hype me up, like for real. Uh, man, a couple things. First off, thank you for joining the channel, man. If you like what you just saw, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, man, you know, music is for me my vehicle what I'm super dedicated to and it's what I'm using to outlet you know my emotions I got all this energy pent up so I'm trying to outlet it onto something both in the studio and out of the studio you know with the business stuff the vlog the IG stuff all that and uh, you just got to find something that you're passionate about whether it's music sports sales um, art anything that you're passionate about dude you gotta live your life to the fullest and like that's to me how I live my life you don't have to do it like me because I'm not the same we have maybe it, we're different like I'm a big extrovert you might be an introvert you might not do it the style I do it but do it your way 
live your life to the fullest, be the greatest version of yourself every single day. Please the gifted. See you next week. Peace! I'm mine so full of these memories. Demons always try to get to me. Pulling my way for the death of me, but they